I already tried bypassing that. I'm thinking it's a solenoid issue. What the hell kind of solenoid is that? Verify. He said he had only eight uh, psi on suction and 200 on the high side, so something's not okay. Another broken roof hatch. This one's off the hinges already. So that's new. It's gonna be this one. He's already hooked up. What y'all know about this uh, Refco? It's my Pops manifold. Looks like those uh, Teslas that everybody wants now, right? So yeah, it's 240. He said he had about eight. It's 11 right now. Okay, the power is on. So let's go put a magnet on there and see what this thing does. Let's go see if we can turn it on with this. All right, so my wiring is up here in this little box. Just wanted to I'm gonna verify that I have power here and there to 208. If I do have power, this thing's bad. I'll put a magnet, test it out, test out the body real quick. All right, absolutely no power here, no power there. I'm gonna verify here and then go up on the roof. All right guys, so I got ahead of myself. That for sure was a solenoid. I assumed it was a freezer because of the way the layout is on it, but it's cooler with a timer and heaters and everything for their defrost. So let me open this up because we don't have power going down. So let me double check all my electrical real quick and my supply and everything. All right, so we got the breaker back on. I'm gonna check. I kind of have an idea or I think I know what's going on, but let me go through you know, the process of all this. Whoops. Okay. 200. back on. I think he said it. Okay, yeah, it does come on. If it's raining, guys. Take it nice and slow. I almost fell down that damn hatch. Keep my back dry. Okay, let's check this again. I feel like I missed something. All right, guys. So I'm just I'm overthinking this. I had I had asked if he had checked the uh, fuses, which he thought he did. I should have verified. So on the bottom we got nothing, and up here we have 
205. And if we check across, nothing. So that one's gonna be our bad fuse. Uh, let's see if the timer is good. Cause I don't think anything else is gonna be grounded or anything. I did bump. I did bump the contact here, and the compressor sounded fine. So we check for grounds. Feeds here, feeds a coil, and then it goes to a timer. Yeah, one end comes in hot, and it feeds the other coil. Now that's an it's an old unit. Would love for them to replace it. Um, and I put the fuse in for now. It's after hours. I wasn't expecting to come by. I just came by to help. Should have looked at that first, but I got ahead of myself and let's just get their cooler back on. And I made this, so I'll leave a link or you'll find it in my tool links. I'll, I'll show you how you can uh, make one of those. Kind of saw somebody with something similar from uh, another country. And they were using this to hold gauges and tool bags. So I thought that was neat. If you don't have the hook though, because it's a 100 pound magnet, you can just get a carabiner, hook it on the, the handle here, and then clip it on if you want. But like, perfect scenario, because I didn't want my tool bag wet, and I got to use it. All I do is put it back on the side, because it'll hook onto these uh, metal pieces right here, or the wrench. And you're good to go, or you can leave it on the, if you have the carabiner, maybe on the back and leave it hooked on. All right, so let me get a 15 amp fuse and let's get this thing on. Which one was it? The right one. All right, guys, I only had 20s. I gotta get them cooling. It's rain's starting to pick up again. Bam, there we go. And the charge looked fine. I'm not gonna mess with it. Just a reminder, if you guys like any of the tools I use, I do have a tool link in the description and I try to post it everywhere. If you guys, I don't want to purchase anything off Amazon or get the part number or anything. Shit, it's raining a lot now. Guys, I'm going to fire my dad, man. I was trying to tell him how to check it over the phone, but I got ahead of myself. I could have fixed it in a few minutes, too. Oh, man. I'll blame it on the heat. We've been getting like 110 degree weather now and random ass rain every now and then which is nice actually so it turned on let's go down and check the unit before this thing falls on me power jeez man so we're good man I'll just ask him if he has the panels to all the stuff. It's an oldie, but it works. And I'll put those back right now. It's gonna get out of the rain.
do you guys think? They need a new one, right? back the next day we're gonna replace this thermostat it's not working it won't cut out the unit is like 30 degrees freezing basically so we're gonna put a new thermostat now funny enough the reason they called us back I mean we would have done a follow-up anyway but they said it was at 60 they're like can you come back at 60 degrees and we got here and somebody turned this off uh, it was set to 60 so i don't know if they were gonna clean or do something but somebody shut it off so i'm just gonna install this real quick then i'm gonna open in here because there was loose wiring and that might have been why it went into uh, or tripped the, uh, the fuse uh the heaters one of the wires was off so that could have tripped something and uh yeah this thing is a cooler but it's set up like a freezer. Might have been converted at one point, I'm not sure. so I can get them down here drill a couple of holes and we'll be good and I went to stock up today because I didn't have these controllers and I purposely got them a pigtail because I knew it was mounted back here I don't like having the extra capillary sensor if we don't need it so I got one of those for this I do usually carry the one with the remote bulb but it's just going to be coiled up right here anyway so I got them you know, the all-in-one, little pigtail one. And let me get that done. And a lot of this is like super rusted. And I think it was sparking too. The heater? Yeah. It's all peeled from the top, Yeah. I'm just looking for the one that I think came off. Just one, I gotta crimp it and put it back. All right guys, so I'm still here on the walk-in that I'm working on, but just to show you this little magnet that I made. Like I said, I'll leave the parts to it in my tool list. You can find that in the description. I always have a link for that. And it's basically a group of tools that I recommend and some anything that I use in my videos, you'll see it there. Uh, this thing's a 100 pound magnet, so it's pretty strong. And right now it's wet. So let me try it on this side. So if you need to ha uh, have your gauges, cause like there's nowhere to hang, you know, your gauges and stuff, you can put them here. If your tool bag has a hook, there you go. And uh, even if you don't have the hook, like I said, use a carabiner on the handle and you're good. So there's that. This one's hundred pounds. I don't know if I would recommend a lower one, even though this one's kind of heavy to remove. It's not that bad. 